everybody, it's Mandy. Welcome back to Sumptuous Living. Today we are gonna make the perfect little fluffy coconut mound of heaven drizzled with dark chocolate. And I'm talking about coconut macaroons. We are going, I'm gonna show you how to make them without hooch and then my version that is with hooch. We're gonna go ahead and let's get started. Um, I'm gonna first start with whipping and beating up my eggs until they're really fluffy. These are egg whites, and I've separated them from the egg yolk. And that goes into my beater. Um, you could do this by hand, and there's an amazing copper whisk that you can use for that kind of thing, but I love, I'm a little lazy. I like machinery to do my job. All right, so we are there, and let me take this bad boy out and that's what you're gonna want is stiff peaks like that perfect so next we're gonna go ahead and add in our sweetened condensed milk Whoa! silky and sweet and beautiful and I'm so grateful that now they add the like flip can lid on there because using a can opener on this hot mess is like ugh, so sticky. And I don't want one more thing to clean in my kitchen. So it's, we're gonna use a spatula and get all the sweet gooeyness out. Super yum. That goes into our coconut along with some vanilla. About a teaspoon and then a good pinch of salt remember that a pinch of salt is not just with your two fingers but with all your fingers that is how you do a pinch of salt we want to taste our food just like you use salt in a cake we're gonna go ahead and use salt in our macaroons and okay so at this point you can fold in your egg whites and go to the oven after you scoop it onto your baking sheet, but um, this is Mandy's world. And so we're gonna hooch it up with about two ounces of a lovely rum. You could use, I did a cooking class recently that someone added in a raspberry liqueur, because we do these kind of competition style battles. And so I featured this macaroon for a holiday nibbles cooking class. And so someone did where they used a raspberry liqueur, someone used um, amaretto, I've had it before where someone used Kahlua. You can flavor this however you like. So whatever you like is great. But you know, I mean, who doesn't love coconut and rum? So we're gonna go ahead and mix that together. So once that gets good, and I think we're there, we are gonna fold in our fluffy egg whites. And this is just gonna make sure that they are not too dense. Uh, sometimes when you make these macaroons, it can be really, really um, just heavy. And and I wanna, eat, <laughs> I wanna eat more than one. Unlike my cocktails, I wanna have more than one of these. So um, we're gonna fold in. And folding means you bring from the bottom, cut through the middle, and come back down from the bottom. That way you don't lose the air of the egg whites. Okay, we're there, we're ready to go. I'm gonna move this out of the way so you guys can see me do our macaroons. Okay, these handy dandy ice cream scoops come in big, they come in super small, and the medium size is kind of perfect. And then the other thing that is super essential to your kitchen is a silicone baking liner. If you do not have one of these, just parchment paper, but definitely put down something because the sugary caramelization that happens with your pan is not fun to clean up in the kitchen. And there is no amount of money I can bribe my teenagers to clean that mess up. So let's go ahead and I'm, how I'm doing this is I'm pulling it to the side of my bowl and making sure that I'm kind of compacted in that scoop. And then I go ahead and pull that on to our sheet pan, give it a little bit of space. They don't they don't really grow like a typical cookie does. Oop, that one needs to get together. So our 
coconut macarons that are a little bit hooched up, but of course if you're making them without any liquor you can, um, are out of the oven and they're golden and they're crispy on the outside and gooey and heavenly on the inside. And so I'm gonna go ahead and transfer them to a really pretty, just a simple, y'all, you don't have to get super swanky and own 1200 things to host people for the holidays. A simple cake plate with a pretty colorful plate on top is just fine. Um, and it just looks like you've gone to that little extra effort. They're actually, um, and you see how the silicone baking sheet lets the, the gooiness of the macarons just slip right off. I have very little cleaning up to do. So I'm gonna put all of these on, and once they all got into the plate, I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle them with heavenly love of a chocolate ganache. And uh, my favorite pastry bag is a, is a Ziploc bag. I just go ahead and put it all into there. I make a chocolate ganache and check out our triple chocolate Kahlua cake recipe either on YouTube or on the website for how to make the easiest, most beautiful chocolate ganache. There's a video, exactly how to do it. Shows you exactly when to take it off because you'll see the glossy business that happens. And so I put it into a, a Ziploc bag and then I can go ahead and drizzle it and make it so pretty. And then I don't have a whole pastry bag to unleash and get clean. Because who wants to, I mean, I've done that before. It's not fun. So we go ahead and get the rest of our macaroons all pretty. And you can crisscross them. You can uber chocolate them up. You can do whatever you want to do. And then you eat them like fast because they don't last long. And everyone always wants a whole box of them. If you bring them to a neighbor or your teachers along with a seriously amazing gift card because of course all teachers love gift cards. Um, all that kind of stuff. These macarons are heavenly and of course mine are gonna be uber boozy, which is so good. And they're messy. So I'm gonna say goodbye to you because once I start diving into this chocolate ganache, just like in our triple chocolate Kahlua cake, um, it'll be nothing but chocolate all in my face. So, bye everybody. Oh my god. I taste the rum. And chocolate. And it's so good and I want extra chocolate. Mmm. Oh. <laughs>